So I'm going to create a basic automation using Pega Robotics Studio. Uh, so I created a new project and you can see I have nothing currently in my project. It's an empty project. I have my object explorer on the left side, the toolbox over here, solution explorer and properties. I think these are the best, uh, the best configuration and the simplest the simplest and easiest to use. So what am I going to do? I'm going to automate, link it and sign it. So to do that, uh, first we're going to add an adapter. What is an adapter? An adapter is a connection to an application or a Windows application. I'm going to add the web, web application adapter. So I'm going to name it LinkedIn Connect. And the first thing that we have to do when we add a web adapter, we have to tell it to what page it has to go. So that's this property right here. So let's go grab the LinkedIn LinkedIn link and put it over here. I don't think that's complete. So make sure to grab the full link. And what we're going to do, we're going to automate the login into LinkedIn. That's going to be the first thing in our automation. So to do that, we're going to have to interrogate the web adapter that we created. You do this by pushing this button. By interrogating the web adapter, we're going to create connections that are going to allow us to automate the different components of the web page. I'm going to show you in a second what I mean. So my advice is when you're trying to automate a web page, no, I'm having some technical issues here, is to always use select element because it allows you to be more precise when getting connections. Okay, so I'm currently logged in. I'm going to log out. And so we said we want to automate the login. So let's push on this button and then select the email field. So maybe you didn't see what just happened. Let me show you again. Push on this button, carry it on the part that you want to automate, release it, and then select the element that you want to interact with. And let's get a button as well. Now, let's go back into the Pega Automation Studio. So what we see is what happened here. We created the automation. We created the connections necessary to create the automation. So this is the link to the web page. This is the frame in which the web page is and all our links. So this is the login button, this is the email input field, and this is the password info input field. Now I'm going to disable these. I will explain in a future lesson what these are. But this is uh, just so you know, since uh, LinkedIn can have many different sessions, uh, this is to allow us to interrogate on different IDs, but I will do a separate video on this. Okay, so we see that we created our connectors. What does it mean? Every time you see this green button that is right here, and when you are interrogating a web page, it means that uh, Pega Automation has, is able to communicate with whatever you're trying to automate. 
Okay, so we collected the fields that we want to automate. So let's do our automation right now. Stop interrogation. Go to the Solution Explorer. Let's add a new item. So there's many different ways that we can automate login into the application. We're going to do the most basic one. What are we going to do? We're going to create a separate a separate form in which the user is going to type in his username and his password. He's going to push the login button and then this data is going to be transferred onto the LinkedIn page and we're going to log into LinkedIn. Okay, so let's do that. So we created the form. Now let's click on our toolbox and let's search for text box. Text box is going to allow us to capture data from the user. So we imported two text box. Let's add also two labels. And let's also add a button. Now, just to make it a little bit easier, let's rename uh, by clicking on properties. Let's rename each one of the icon of the things that we carried into our form. So let's start with the input field, the first input field. So let's name it email. And the second one, let's name it password. Now in your object explorer, you're going to see email and password. Now let's do the same for label. So there is an email already. We can't name two items in the same way. So Okay, once again. And let's also name it password. Let's rename the button as well. Login. Okay, we're almost done. So we created the form that we're going to use. Now let's add the last thing that we need for automation. Let's add the automation itself so let's call this main auto okay perfect now um so how is our automation going to start there's different ways that we can start our automation but in this example we're going to start it via the button so we created our button that is our login button over here in the objects uh, in the objects explorers details we can have different properties of different items so let's take the button for example and uh, let's add a, uh, a click here we go so this is how our automation is going to start. It's going to start via click. After we click on it, it's going to take the email, so the text property, and password. Let me show you from here what I did. So I clicked on the properties panel, and I select the text icon, and I carried it into the automation. So let's connect these. Uh, by connecting this, this is the logical flow of the automation. 
when I connect the blue icons, that's the data flow of the automation. So basically what this is, is when we click on the login button, we're going to go to the login form, we're going to get the data, we're going to... Oh, this is actually wrong. And then we're going to go to the password, and after that, we're going to go to LinkedIn, And then we're going to go to the password field and to the login button. Okay, so the data field has to be connected from the email to the email of LinkedIn and from the password to the password. Oh, I made a mistake. Email to email and password to password. So let me show you what this looks like. Okay, so this is basically our automation. However, to make it work, we have to make a little bit of fine tuning. What do I mean by that? We can't just directly go into the password fields because the web page has not loaded already so in order to prevent this we're going to click on session key and we're going to create a method wait for create so basically what is going to happen is before we before we input our text fields we're going to wait for the text fields to create so if this is true, we're going to continue. And one more thing that we should do is before we click on the login button, we should enable the button. Okay, so our automation should be ready. Now by clicking on the start, I uh, start building the application in debug mode. I'm not deploying it yet, I'm just building it and I'm going to be able also to debug it. But we're going to see this in a different video. Now let's just see if the first basic automation works. So the web page was launched and also we have the form that we created. I'm experiencing some technical issues, but that's not a problem. So we have email and password. So once we type in the email here, test email.com and password, we can put password, we're just doing a test. So what should happen? This data should be transferred from here and this from here and the login button should be created should be pushed so let's see if that worked apparently it did okay so everything worked fine let's go back to our automation let's stop the automation and save our work now we're gonna in the next video we're gonna continue building on our automation Thank you for watching.